Say, kids, what time is it? It's kind of like watching TV, but, you know, in your car. 104.7 The Cave, Mike the Intern, Jay Stevens in the studio. It's Thursday, 9 a.m. time for Dark Side of the Stream, episode 143. This week was my pick. The documentary about the American gladiators, muscles, and mayhem on Netflix. Now, before we get into this, I was going to say before we get into this, uh, it was actually this is a really unique one because I was going to pick it, but I was going to pick the different version of it. So we actually both watched a documentary, two different documentaries about the same subject. Interestingly enough, Jay, before we did last week's episode, was like, "Oh my God, the American gladiators so badass!" I was like, "Yeah, I saw a preview of that." And then I was like, dude, it starts on Wednesday. And he goes, oh. how is that possible? I just watched it. Yeah. And I was like, what'd you watch it on? He's like, ESPN. I was like, oh, there's a 30 for 30. Yes. So just, just disclaimer here. We're going to mainly be talking about the Muscles and Mayhem docuseries on Netflix. Netflix. Now, there is a 30 for 30 on ESPN, which is really cool. But it's a completely different story. It's like a supplemental version, I'd yeah, say. If, watch it after. It involves the guy. Okay, so basically, here's how American Gladiators started. There was this Elvis impersonator that decided he thought he had this really good idea for a show called American Gladiators. And that's all he did. That's it. He, he claims, though. He signed their lives away. Yeah, essentially, because he came up with the name. Like, dude, like, not the PAs that came up with the games, not the director who no. directed the thing, not the gladiators. It was all him. It was all him, the Elvis impersonator. Now, it's an interesting thing, but, again, he didn't really have anything to do with this thing outside of the fact that he came up with the name American Gladiators and owned it, and then everyone else made it. And exploited everybody. And exploited everybody. But so, here's <clears> the weird thing is – he was nowhere to be found in this Netflix. He was there. not in the Muscles of Mayhem. 30 for 30, he was all over that. Because they, since again, he owns the name, they had to get permission to talk about it with him. ESPN got the permission. That's why they don't say unauthorized version or story in Netflix oh, does. Netflix says That's why he had nothing to do with it. Yeah. So all you have to do is say unauthorized and you can go for it? As long as, long as you have the rights to use the footage and or images and you get the rights for the interviews, yeah, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you're talking about a factual a factual story and events. It's just journalism. And a lot of, on the, on the 30 for 30, they didn't get to talk to a lot of the gladiators. No. They re- declined them, probably because they had signed a deal with Netflix already. Uh, No, probably because they hate the Elvis impersonator and all the money he made off of him. And the fact that in one year alone, there was more viewership of American gladiators than there was the actual Super Bowl. Yeah, and these guys and gals didn't get paid. They got injured. They didn't get taken care of. There was one woman who literally like twisted and broke her knee and she was done for the rest of her yeah. life. You think she saw anything from that guy? No. So, again, I don't blame them for not having anything to do with him going forward. And now that they are in a position to try and make some money, not having anything to do with them, because he probably got paid for that 30 for 30. I guarantee you he did. They probably were like, I'm not going to help that guy make any more money. I would I, I guarantee you that. They were gladiators were huge. They were rock stars, bro. I was a kid. And you know, what's funny. I was talking to my dad about that and we both said, you know, it's so funny. We used to watch that show. I mean, all the time, all the time. And he goes, you know, it's funny when we used to watch it, I used to think to myself, we must be the only idiots watching this thing, but come to find out everybody was why well, you see these just these monster men and women you know and just take it on the average joe and sometimes the average joe would win we're going to get into this deep and i guess not really dark but deep story american gladiators continues next dark side of the stream on 104.7 the cave 104.7 the cave mike the intern jay stevens in the studio this is dark side of the stream episode 143 discussing muscles and mayhems mayhem on netflix the story the unauthorized story of american gladiators so yeah i was a kid when this stuff was happening i loved it i wanted to do these things um there were so many different events that i just as a kid watching this documentary was just like god i wish i still could do but uh i actually had to write some notes down because there were so many things i wanted to talk about and i did not want to miss and the first thing that i want to bring up is the fact that ice is still, still hot smoking hot oh i can, I can my convert her i can convert her back god yeah dude so hot i mean i can't even like i just she and i have words for it she's just smoking yeah, and on top of the fact there was a great story in there about where they were they ended up going on this like 60 60 yeah. city tour can you or imagine something the groupies those guys had oh man? yeah and so like one night 
nitro because you could tell that like the the core ones like nitro laser ice they were all like family and they nitro still are they still see each stud. other nitros man well we're gonna do a whole segment about nitro but um i, I want to talk about the ladies first so ice and nitro and laser they all see this chick somewhere and they're all like after nitro's p- trying to play at her laser's Every trying day. to play at her and they're like striking out big time next morning they all wake up to get back on the bus they're waiting for ice and who comes down the stairs with that lady in ice her arm ice chick. man yeah so hot all right the other thing i want to talk about when regards to lady ladies blaze who i've had the hots for since i was a kid oh really they did a whole segment about her butt yeah they did and it definitely deserved it that booty i couldn't my, I, I was getting i my wife's not a jealous person but i was talking about that butt so much while we were watching it together i was starting to get looks and my wife's not jealous but well, i mean that booty was if it's somebody that's like on tv and famous can you get in trouble for that i mean at a at, no but at a certain point if you're sitting there talking about her well, butt 30 I, minutes well, later just, you probably should shut up about I just it say i will talk about for 24 hours someone that i met at the night before the show i i know you will but i <laughs> <laughs> get that those these those thoughts locked up in the vault the, i'm just honest hey i can appreciate a good looking person yeah and woman. i can't appreciate a good looking booty and blaze had an incredible booty and I'm sure she still does. She ended up marrying uh, the guy, yeah, Sarge. Yeah, the guy that helped train them. Yeah, on the, on the, uh, yeah the jousters. The, 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 whatever, whatever that thing was called where they hit each knock other. Em, yeah, knock them, sock them type thing. Knock them, yeah. sock them. But that was also something really cool to watch the like evolution of some of those games. Like the pilot episode where yeah. they looked they lit, yes, yeah. like bootleg outfits. It'd be like nothing. us trying to put on a yeah, show. that's what it looked like. It literally would have been that bad. But they did turn it into something really awesome, man. They maybe did. that was that one set director guy that came in and came up with all the games yeah they did the first half of the first level, season man. look like garbage then second half they brought in and then they made it work and it caught on and they started to make some money and with season two they really uh pulled out the stops we'll talk more about some of these american gladiators next dark side of the stream on 104.7 the cave Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio dark side of the stream episode 143 discussing muscles and mayhem American Gladiator. So, who was your favorite gladiator? Well, I thought Malibu. I thought that he was on Malibu. It I thought he was on it longer chicks, than that. Two chicks in a, I mean, a the, on the, the beach, the luxurious hair, the uh, the surfer neck. I mean, then come find out he wasn't even a surfer. The funniest part about the, the funniest part about the whole thing, right? All those guys and gals were juicing big time, and I'm sure Malibu included. Yeah, you have to juice. Some of these athletes were like. They had competed for the Olympics. Uh, Jim and I was a former NFL player. There were like they were hardcore athletes. Malibu played racquetball. That's it. <laughs> hey, look at that dude. He was, and his uh, arms are like this. He's like, "What did you play, man? Yeah. Racquetball." Yeah. <laughs> he was uh, what they called display model only. Like when they said when he got hit, he goes, "You can see him blinking." He's not. He's not used to getting that hit. story. Yeah. yeah, when you. He was this nitro model only man. Nitro talked about that. Yeah, he nitro said, you was can, like, no, no, you know, that guy was soft and he wasn't, gonna you last. can tell right before a guy gets hit the reaction. If, if, if it's to, to recoil or to push through and that guy would recoil. And I knew that eventually someone was going to hit that guy hard and they uh, knocked him out. Poor Malibu, poor Malibu. But man, he, he has definitely been immortalized in memes across the internet for decades. And will probably continue to be. And anytime I rewatch those episodes and he comes up, I'm like, God, I love that. So Malibu's your favorite. Nitro is and always will be my favorite. Nit- yeah, Nitro. I, I mean, he was just—he was just the coolest one. You know, he—he he was there the like one of the longest. Laser obviously was there the entire time. What a stud though that Nitro guy was. Yeah. Right? The thing about this though that I will like again, they kept coming back to like this is something to be celebrated. You know, their athleticism, the fact that they were bringing bodybuilding to the forefront. But the fact remains here, guys. They were all juicing. I mean, you can't. And you, you want them to, though. You want them to be superhuman looking. You don't want just average Joe looking guys. At that period in in our history, yes, because the you know the action action star was a big thing, and that was like the whole deal. But now you look at these guys, like uh, on uh, American Ninja Warrior, for example. These kid kids, Little they're not guys, they're no. not like massive, but they are super athletic. Which proves the point. But they're not taking hits. Though. They're not Probably. taking hits. And again, the physicality definitely adds. If you're if you taking want the, hits and smashing, you want to be big, to but be massive, huge. You know, just as well as I do in jujitsu, size don't matter, man. Oh, it, it helps. But don't it helps. Yeah, it, it can help, but it don't matter. 
And I think that's what we're getting close to. But that that whole thing about celebrating their bodies and like the bodybuilding stuff and all that, I was like, come on, guys, you were juicing. We all know you were juicing. Yeah. And again, if that's what you need, like Zap, she was like, she goes, I never took steroids. Well, you were taking home uh, hormone growth, HGH, stuff, which yeah. is the same, same thing. thing yeah. Uh, but yeah, her story was crazy. I did not see her Playboy. I don't think I ever saw that. No, I almost wanted to Google it. Yeah, well, maybe we should in the off time. In the meantime, we'll be back with our review of Muscles and Mayhem. Dark Side of the Stream continues next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Mike the Intern, Jay Stevens back in the studio. Apologies for our extended break. This is Dark Side of the Stream, episode 143. We discussed muscles and mayhem. So how many uh, syringes full of steroids would you give this documentary? I liked it. Four and a half. I liked it. it yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. Big time. Probably back to like uh, remembering that era. So good. Like so good. this, it would, it'll never, the world will never be like that again. It was bigger than life. Yeah. Uh, it like was I, very much like the boy band model too. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, got yeah. characters, and you're only going to pay them a little bit of money. You're going to make all the money. Oh, you don't like it? Okay, well, we'll just get somebody get somebody else, else and re and, replaceable. You know, people and it would, wasn't the core. Like when they had the core, and they they talk about that core. That was the best part yeah, of yeah. of American Gladiators. And again, in '91, they they had more viewership than the Super Bowl did. Incredible. That's crazy. Incredible, yeah. Think about that. Now, what the Super Bowl is compared? I mean, I, again, '91. I who won the Super Bowl in '91? Uh, era. That was, I oh, think that may that have the cowboy era. It cowboy could have been 49ers. Cowboys cowboy 49ers, 49ers or era, right? uh Cowboy 49er era. I'm gonna say uh this was the Bills and Giants, and this was another oh, one of the ones Bills the Bills Giants lost. Era. Yeah, again, like again, I don't think it was all East Coast, and so no one really cared outside of the New York area. No wonder they didn't win. Um, but still, again, it was a great documentary. If you want to relive an incredible show yeah. that we'll never I'm see again, both. Oh, and both. if you want to actually watch American Gladiators, there is an American Gladiators channel on Pluto TV for free that plays it 24 no seven. Yeah. How do we not have that? on? And that's what Jay and I are going to do as soon as we're done here. But Jay, what's your pick for next week? Oh gosh. Jeez. I, I put on the spot <laughs> here. Um, Gosh, Mike, how did we not talk about this on the break? I don't Whatever. know. We were talking know. about something completely we got different. So hyped up. <laughs> so hyped. Oh, I've got it. I've got it because it just came out. Uh, Wham documentary. On oh, cool, cool, cool. I was wondering Wham. if we would. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, it's on. Max, I haven't right? seen it yet. It just came out. It's on. I think it's on Netflix or Matt, one of those. But it's literally just came out yet. So okay, cool. Right. Wham documentary. It is on Netflix. Make, make me up. And uh, I'm excited. Yeah, you know, too. I'm excited. Too. Um. This Christmas is probably one of my favorite Christmas songs of all time. Yeah, and uh, yeah, George Michael, talented Michael, guy. Man. Very uh, you ever met him crazy in the park? story. I'm sure, no, 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 no. I know what park that was. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you know what stall it was. <laughs> Either way, you can stream us online every Thursday, 9 a.m. on Facebook or YouTube. Or listen to it on my show, 9 a.m. or J Show, 6 p.m. Or download this as a free podcast on our 104.7 The Cave app. I am Mike, the intern. This is Jay Stevens saying we watch movies so you don't have, have to. to. Documentary, so you don't have to. Stark Side of the Stream on 104.7 The Cave.